You're going to have to accept this whether you like it or not. And this might be the most important piece of information I share on the channel. I want you to accept this. I want you to internalize it. I want you to apply it to yourselves. 80% of people regain weight they have lost. 80%. A meta-analysis of 29 studies shows that after five years people regain up to 80% of the weight they have lost. The majority of that regaining everything and some. Unfortunately, even though it's my fault, I am part of that statistic. So I made it my mission on the channel to make sure you never go through that again and I never go through that again. That's why I share the information I share and that's why I have the approach and the mindset that I do. I'm part of this statistic. I know I went where I went wrong. I know what needs to be done to make sure that doesn't happen. So you need to, you need to take this on board. You need to look at those numbers and internalize them and apply them to yourselves. We need to make sure we are getting good at maintenance because that's what you want to do. You have to get good at maintenance along the way. Obviously there's a job to be done. There's fat that needs to be lost but we want to build the reps. We want to build the experience of maintaining weight because what do you really want to do? You want to lose weight? No, you want to lose weight and you want to keep it off. You want to lose it for life. You want to lose it for life. How do we do that? We get good at maintenance. I'm not saying you have to have periods of maintenance, long periods of maintenance. They're going to be beneficial in the long term, absolutely. And for the people going, that's a cope, that's an excuse, you're not working hard, yada, yada. That is the problem. It's people thinking like that, that's why 80% of people struggle and fail because they think they're not putting in the work. Many people that have lost weight will tell you it's extremely hard to keep that off. It's harder than even losing the weight. We are very good at losing weight. Especially in the Western world, we are very good at losing weight. What are we not good at? Maintaining that weight loss. That is where the battle lies. That's where we need to divert our attention. That's what we need to be focusing on. And I'm going to keep this video short and sweet, so I'm not going to go into details on what we can do, what we should do. If you'd like to see that, let me know, and I will have a strategized video talking about that. But I just want you to hear this information and accept it and internalize it. Hello people, welcome to day 42 of the road to 300 pounds, we're weighing in this morning at 319.4, so obviously had the first deficit day of five yesterday, as you saw on the channel, as you see every day on the channel, and yeah, I, I, I'm given a prediction of 317 something this week, but if I don't hit that, it's fine, because I'm not going to let the scale take away from the hard work we're putting in every single day, those daily disciplines, that's what it's about. So, 1,904 calories for the day, 200. 38 grams of protein and into some kettlebell work and i gotta tell you my kettlebell swings are hot trash they are awful I, i'm think i've got better but i think the dumbbells a bit too light i mean the kettlebells a bit too light uh, it's only 12 kg and as you can see i'm a very big dude and i do have surprisingly experience in lifting weights so 12 kg just is too light so maybe if i'm good for christmas a good boy santa will uh, give me a new kettlebell a heavier one but just chucking up some dumbbells over my head these are 20 kg each they don't look that big but again i'm a big dude so uh, i make them look smaller but a few sets of these, all good fun. Definitely felt them for sure. And that's enough of me yapping. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.